Hey guys, this is Mark Hutton with AdultAspergersChat.com and I got an email from a neurotypical wife and she's asking a question about her Asperger's husband and she states, you talk about how the Asperger's brain is wired differently. So what is it about my husband's brain that is wired so differently that he seems totally unable to understand how I feel? Okay, well, first of all, I doubt that he totally doesn't understand how you feel but he may give you the impression that he has no clue and quite honestly in many cases he probably has no clue so we need to look at two things really mind blindness and alexithymia now these are two traits that are often found in Asperger's and high functioning autism you can think of mind blindness as the inability to predict the beliefs and intentions of others and you can think of alexithymia as the inability to identify and interpret emotional signals in others and also in one's self. And this in turn reduces the ability to be empathically attuned to others. So let's look at each of these in turn. We'll look at mind blindness first. So mind blindness is essentially the opposite of empathy and it can be described as an inability to develop an awareness of what's in the mind of another person. The typical brain, you know, for example, let's say you are talking to somebody and they have a certain facial expression and they have certain body language and they have a certain tone of voice and you're, and you're weighing all that in conjunction with their actual words and you may be able to be pretty good at predicting, you know, how that person is feeling or what they're thinking or what their general attitude is. Well, people with mind blindness, they don't have that ability. So, generally speaking, people with mind blindness are delayed in developing what is called a theory of mind. Another way of saying this is the person with mind blindness can't conceptualize, understand, or predict emotional states in other people. Now, alexithymia can be described as a state of deficiency in understanding, processing, or describing emotions. Um, the person with alexithymia, they have trouble imagining outcomes. They have difficulty predicting how their behavior is going to impact others. They have trouble uh, describing feelings to other people. They're not sure how they feel. They're not sure how you feel. They have difficulty identifying feelings and distinguishing between feelings and the bodily sensations associated with those feelings. Now, there's two kinds of alexithymia. There's what is called primary alexithymia, and that's, we'll just call it the, an ongoing psych psychological trait that does not alter over time, and that is the, that speaks to the business of the Asperger's brain being hardwired. That is simply something that can't be fixed. But then there's secondary alexithymia, and that is a state-dependent situation. And it usually disappears after the evoking stressful situation has changed. So that second version of alexithymia depends on the situation. Now, the typical deficiencies that result from alexithymia, as I mentioned a little bit ago, can include a lack of imagination, lack of intuition, lack of empathy. And it also results in the person with Asperger's being more driven towards relating to objects and tasks rather than people. Additionally, it would be concrete, realistic, logical thinking, often to the exclusion of emotional responses to problems. You may find that your Asperger's man is highly logical. There's few dreams or fantasies due to this business of having a restricted imagination. They may treat themselves as robots. They have problems identifying, describing, and working with one's own feelings. And they have a real problem identifying describing and working with their partner's feelings. So alexithymia creates interpersonal problems because these individuals avoid emotionally close relationships. Or if they do form relationships with others, they tend to position themselves in either a dependent, dominant, or impersonal position. And the reason they do that is because they want the relationship to remain superficial. A secondary issue related to alexithymia involves the inability to identify and modulate strong emotions. And that's usually with the Asperger's man, anger. And so the inability to modulate emotions leaves the person prone to sudden effective outbursts such as rage, meltdowns, or in some cases, shutdowns. So if your situation is like most that I hear about, it's not uncommon for your husband to go uh, into meltdowns. It looks like an adult version of a temper tantrum. 
uh, raging and being very critical of you. So in most cases, the, the individual with Asperger's is having a lot of anxiety and they want to release that anxiety because anxiety is nothing more than a bunch of pent up uncomfortable emotions. And so they tend to want to have a verbal vomit on their partner to discharge this uncomfortable anxious feeling. And unfortunately, when they discharge their anger, and their anxiety onto their partner. They feel better, but their partner now feels like shit, quite honestly, because they've been used as a scapegoat and a whipping post. Oftentimes, when uh, the Asperger's person goes into the meltdown or rage, they, they will report a feeling of being unwillingly detached from the world. In other words, they feel a disconnect, and they, they it's like they didn't really volunteer for this disconnect. It can just look like a pure case of emotional abuse to the observer, but what's really going on is in there is the Asperger's, in this case, Asperger's man, is having a real internal struggle, and he's trying to figure out a way to discharge this anxiety, and, and unfortunately, this is done in a very dysfunctional way. It's his destructive coping mechanism. Now, people with mind blindness and alexithymia, when they, when they become an adult, they do have great difficulty finding a life partner or getting married due to poor social skills. Because if you have mind blindness and you're not really attuned to what other people might be feeling and you have and you struggle with empathy, and if you have alexithymia, which you're in a situation where you're almost uh, overly logical, clearly you can understand why that would get in the way of social skills and a relationship is, by definition, exchanging social interaction. The complexity and inconsistency of the social world often poses extreme challenges to individuals with this uh, mind blindness and alexithymia business. So that doesn't necessarily help you feel better, but it may help you understand the deficits that your husband has that appear to make him selfish, uncaring, insensitive. That's what it looks like and that's what it feels like. And that's totally understandable. However, if you look deeper, you will realize that indeed there is some brain wiring that is different that uh, prevents him from relating to you in a more loving, compassionate way. Oftentimes when you see the ugly side of your husband, what's really going on inside him is he's struggling to comprehend what's going on in a problematic situation and also dealing with the anxiety associated with not being able to comprehend what's going on in a social situation.